there. Welcome to Vorpal Board. It's Tuesday night, which means we have a special stream. Uh, sometimes it's team stream, but sometimes it's play games with designer stream. And tonight we are playing Tiny Town Fortunes, and we're playing with the designers of both Original Tiny Town, the designer and developer of Original Tiny Town, and then the co-designers on Tiny Town's Fortune. And that is Pete McPherson and Josh Wood. Pete, Josh, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. So Pete's on the East Coast. Josh is on the West Coast. I'm on the East Coast. We're in three different places. But tonight we're going to get together and we're going to use Vorpal Board, which if you're not familiar, is our system for playing uh, tabletop games remotely. Um, hopefully we do a good job of showing off the game. Um, this is the expansion to, I'm going to say smash hit Tiny Towns. I don't know. I don't know how that's classified, but I think that enough people on my social media and in my life in terms of board gamers um, loved and played Tiny Towns last year. Um, and uh, this is a expansion that's coming out um, February 21st, so not long, and you'll be able to get it at your um, local game store. Uh, the cool thing, I have two cool things I want to ask you guys about and bring up. The first is the box size. I love this box. So this is the first time I've ever seen somebody, and I, I'm sure there are examples that people are going to yell at me in chat about other people who've done this, <laughs> but it's this thin, same footprint of the, as the original box. It almost is kind of like a record box, like a double record box size, and it fits exactly on top of the original Tiny Towns box. So if you're the type of person who has shelving that is very nice and neat, which I am not, I'm not going to pan the camera that far so you can see the piles of board games, but this will fit perfectly into your um, collection. Now, is that something that uh, AEG just does, or did you guys discuss and say, like, this is how we want this thing to work? Yeah, so this is the first game I think that AEG has done, that where we do this with an expansion. Um, this was an idea that we talked about. I know for um, AEG as a company, it's really important that games um, fit on Calyx shelves and look nice. That's the standard, you know, the the twelve, um, the, the the twelve inch uh, cubes. And um, I, you know, I always think it looks a little weird when you have like the smaller expansions that kind of are like a completely different box size and then. Mm -hmm hard to hold them all. Um, I, there's been a couple companies that, that have done that before. I know like the, um, if you get a Ticket to Ride game, it's just a board, like it's a, it's just like, a, you, you know, it doesn't have the, the trains and all that stuff in it. Um, they usually put it in that size box. And so if Asmodee does it, feels like it's an okay move for us to try to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to agree. I mean, I know some people get kind of crazy about, um, does the is the expansion gonna fit in the in the original box? Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I could kind of take it or leave it because I'm a mess. But I definitely understand like people who actually have nice calyx shelving. We don't have uh, Pete and I actually live pretty close to each other. We don't have an IKEA anywhere nearby, so um, I haven't been able to get any calyx shelves to my house yet. But when I do, they're gonna look poor, great. Poor person. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing that I wanted to bring up, I. I I don't know if this was intentional or not, but I get very interesting vibes about the corrupting influence of money in this expansion. And so um, it, for people who don't know, the, the expansion introduces a new concept. It kind of is like a new way to play Tiny Towns and it's money pieces. And you can earn those money pieces by building multiple buildings at the same time. And, and we'll play in a minute here and you'll see how this is gonna work. But in the original game, it was kind of like very pastoral and friendly in these little animals. Um, and they were building this tiny town and everybody's happy, right? But then there's some stuff in the art on the new one and, and the, sort of the cards and stuff. There's like a gambler's den. Um, and there's, there's actually uh, this photo of kind of like a smoke filled room with what looks like kind of like a bouncer crow out front. And I, <laughs> I feel like it, uh, it, it seems like, um, it seems like maybe, hey, things are a little bit rougher and tougher in the tiny town lately since now we have money. Is that something that you guys sort of leaned into with building the copy and the art? I would say so. I mean, you know, 
capitalism is uh, <laughs> uh, a system with with some benefits and some some drawbacks, and so we didn't want to. I don't know. Say that yes, riches have come to to tiny towns and uh, money I, is. I will say that Pete and I think about the storyline of Tiny Towns way more than what people can see. I mean, a lot of people played the base game and we're like, oh, I didn't even know there was animals in that right. game. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we, we have very intricate stories about them. I mean, I don't know, Pete, did you want to take a second to even talk about what the money is called and how we even like came up with that term and how we're just kind of crazy people? Well, the coins, the coins are actually called quirks. That is the, the correct term for a coin is quirk. Um, but as we say in the rule book, no one's going to actually call them that. So they're just, yeah. they're just coins in practice. <laughs> but yeah, I think we do imagine there being a sort of, as we introduce these mechanics, we like to imagine that the world of tiny towns is, uh, changing or progressing in some ways with each expansion. So there is, there's a little timeline in our heads of, of how the world is evolving. I got, um, I got, I got the CEO of AEG here, John Zinser. <laughs> Hey, John. <laughs> no, 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 come on. When who decided to name the coins Quips or Quicks or? <laughs> it was a team <laughs> effort. It was okay. a team effort. effort. If that was all Pete, then I'm Team Josh now. <laughs> what if it was a 50 50 decision? I know. I, I, I noticed that. I, I noticed that nobody is Team James. So that's fine. That's fine. That, that's a that's a safe bet. No, no, I knew that we both called them quirks. <laughs> Um, the other thing that I wanted to throw out here in this in this um, capitalism money kind of conversation is a a quote on the back of the box, which I also liked. I think is very kind of cheeky and good. It says, "In tiny towns, fortune, the creatures of the forest have found a way to trick each other into thinking shiny bits of metal have arbitrary value," which I think is kind of an evergreen statement maybe just about all of humanity so um so i like it I, I i like i don't know if you guys are headed in the direction of uh that's all that's all pete okay really that, that's good that's good <laughs> um but i i like like maybe you guys are i like to imagine you guys are headed in the direction of like an animal farm type thing with tiny towns right like eventually you're gonna have like a scythe style military game built in the tiny towns universe um so so yeah i'm, I'm holding out hope. Down really quickly <laughs> right yeah. um cool so so um it comes out the 21st um people is it is it first in just game stores or will people be able to buy it online at that time what do you guys know offhand um that is something that i know offhand uh, as a professional at this company <laughs> but i don't want to say the answer because i don't remember I, I believe i believe it's in um i believe it's going to be in stores uh i think for a week or two and then it'll be everywhere cool uh, I really follow that. yeah i think that's I think how tiny that's towns different. rolled out last time as well um, yes and i think it's a similar trajectory cool all right so people definitely check out for that um and then there is uh, more expansions coming for Tiny Towns, and I don't know. Did you guys want to talk about any sort of more timelines, or just the under development, or where where are you guys kind of in that process? I think we could keep a tight tight lip on those kind of things. Cool. Um, yeah, we have we're ideas. Gonna that we're going to have a second expansion, um, so we need to have more sales of our sales of the first expansion to guarantee that kind of stuff. But cool. um, we definitely. Um, <clears throat> We definitely have uh, out outlines to do uh, multiple expansions if we are, you know, fortunate enough to do multiple expansions. Cool. No, um, and, and we, so we are thinking about all that stuff. And uh, Tiny Downs is definitely a, a big part of uh, Pete's life, my life, and, and AHE's life right now. So. <laughs> Very good. Um, so one thing that is applicable, I think, towards our tool, right, is you guys are very far apart from each other and you're designing a game together. Um, how is that? Is that is that fun? Is it awful? Are you guys doing video chats all the time? Like, how do you how do you get that brain meld to be able to, to do such, such a thing um, and, and do it effectively without, you know, kind of driving each other crazy? James, I, I, I will explain that in, in one simple sentence. I do all the work. Pete does not. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Uh, I mean, we meet once a week and for a couple hours, 
and we're lucky to have a game that plays over Skype, but we can't see each other's boards like we can right now, which is nice. Um, so I don't know, you know, Josh and I have some other game ideas we've talked about, how we would ever play test another game, you know, from opposite coasts. I don't know. That's that's going to be um, a bridge we have to cross. But yeah, we we just tried a lot of ideas in our, our weekly play tests and see what sticks, see what doesn't. Um, we both play test on our own. Um, so it's, it's pretty rare that we have like, you know, serious disagreements over stuff. I feel like we're, we're, we're easy. We're, we have a do a good job of getting down to the math of, you know, what's working, what isn't, what feels balanced, what doesn't, um, and stuff like that. So I think we have a good, a good process. Cool. And I think, and I think like any uh, people working on a board game, I think we often come up with an idea and we go, oh, it probably should be this and this and this. And we change it and we change it a little bit more. And then we go, oh, that's something's not working right. And then we go back to the original design. We're like, oh, it was perfect before. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's cool. Also, I think one of the cool things about Tiny Towns that I think has helped with its spread is that you can play it remotely you can play it over the phone you can play it you know like you can have a hundred people playing it at the same time pete i think you did a thing at, at a convention where there was like i don't know guinness book of world records most most people who've ever played tiny towns at once type event right so like mm -hmm. i think that as a game it, it would certainly be easier to walk through some of that mental uh design process with this style of a game versus like some sort of heavy card based game that you need to sit and play against each other or something like that. So Yeah, I think at Gen Con we had about a thousand people, right? Man, there. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. And 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 Pete um uh called the cards in the town hall mode. And um I I, uh, I, I um the the champion Tiny Towns player I am got third place out of my six people at my table. So <laughs> so, so, so I, had, that... <laughs> I, had, I had a bad game, and I like to just say I was very distracted by um, the how enamored I was at, at the event itself. I think that's my excuse. I'm done with. So the pacing of that tough. sentence, Josh, was 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 very was very tricky because you said <laughs> I got third place. Dot 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 dot, and I and I made a face for the record that was like, "Whoa, you got third place out of a thousand. And then you finished with the out of the six at the table. So, so that was good. It was a roller coaster. You know what's, you know what's crazy, though, is it, uh, I think, though, my table, uh, two of the people at my table were in the top ten. Mm -hmm. And, like, like I, I, I'm pretty sure I was, like, somewhere, like, at, at like um, you know, in the, in the single digits or just barely in the double digits. But it was, I mean, it was a crazy event. And, um, I, I mean, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun just to talk to people. And yeah. you know, get excited about it. Everyone just play like there are some people we just talk the game to, and then we're like, okay, we're about to play the thousand person game. Get ready. And then people are yep. like, ah! <laughs> Yeah, trial by fire. It was it was awesome. I mean, I had a blast running around holding up giant cards with a resource on them. Um, yeah, it was quite the experience. Then we did a smaller one at Pax Unplugged, which was also cool, probably two hundred people ish at that one. That's so. cool. It's like uh, it almost has like a bingo hall type feel. That's very neat. Yeah. Um I and, and I, I just think that when you're talking about games, um, having a game that can be played that way is, is I guess, kind of rare. The roll and write craze seems like a lot of roll and writes are like that way too, where people can kind of just play along at home. Um, and and I, I think that's a real positive that, that uh, for stuff like this, where people can stream and do it, but also at conventions, I think that's a really neat um, application for that sort of thing. So, okay, so let's, um, let's dive in. We're gonna play. Um, I have everything kind of like scanned in. The way that the system works is we scan in components. We also can stream the tabletop live, but um, for Tiny Towns, we can kind of bring everything in and just be ready. Um, for folks who are familiar with Tiny Towns, uh, what comes in the box of the expansion is new buildings, uh, two of each of the different building types. Uh, I believe 10 new monuments that are specific to the mechanical change that happens in, in Fortune. Um, two of those are compatible with just base without playing with Fortune, but yes. Um, and then um, a bunch of wooden uh, coins, which I uh, I forgot already what the name of them officially is. So I'm just going to call them coins. <laughs> Quirks. Quirks. Okay. I like, um, I, there, there's an acorn on one side and there's a, uh, a mouse head on the other side. And um, and you can you can actually see those. We, we just scanned in a bunch for us to use over here. 
Um, and then um, they, you also get these really neat little treasure chests to keep your coins in. You can hold a max of four, and, uh, and the chest will tell you what they're good for. And they either give you victory points at the end of the game, or you can use them to ignore what a player you're playing against, the resource they have called, and use a totally different resource. And so they can become very, very, very valuable. If you've played a lot of tiny towns, um, having the ability to control your resource is a huge, huge, huge boon. There are buildings that let you do things like that, um, like uh, by storing resources and whatnot, but these money pieces let you do it um, without having to put any specific buildings out. And the way you earn them is to build two buildings on the same turn, two or more buildings on the same turn. And if you do that, you earn one coin. You don't, you don't earn multiple coins for doing four or whatever. You just earn one coin for building more than one building on the same turn, which means you have these turns where people are putting a lot of resources out on their board and getting really tight and crazy and then building a bunch of stuff. So it goes kind of like full, clean, full, clean. Um, in trying to build the coins. Um, and I think that's it. Everything else is the same. Uh, the way that you call resources is the same. The way the, the scoring works is the same, although the new buildings do lots of interesting things. Um, the, the core mechanics of Tiny Towns remains the same, which, which I, in my opinion, like, you can get away with having like one page of rules, which I think it's two pages of rules, actually, because it does include some of the original rules of Tiny Towns in here. But uh, as an expansion goes, I think this is really cool because it adds a wrinkle to the game and it's insanely easy to just start, which I think is uh, which I think is great. So nice work, guys. Thanks. That was a great uh, rules explanation. That was really. Oh, cool. Nice. Thank you. Um, um, I'm going to go grab my laptop charger really quick before we start. I don't know if you want to talk about what the cards do, but I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. All right. All right, so over here in Tiny Towns, you choose a whole bunch of starting buildings. Um, there's one of each of the main types, uh, and each of the types is represented by these uh, wooden buildings over here. Uh, as you can see with Vorpal Board, we, um, we actually scanned in the buildings today, um, and, and we did a pretty good job. The scanner did a pretty good job of picking up the shape of the, uh, of the Tiny Towns pieces. The one thing, Josh, that it can't scan in is bright neon pink. Uh, because our scanners, our scanning background is pink, so uh, so you guys are the first piece that we have not been able to bring into Vorpal Board on the stream. So congratulations! I had to put a black background, and then I could bring it in. So, so there you go. Um, and then uh, and every single one of these buildings does something a little bit different. Uh, as we're playing, I'm going to be kind of I'm sure a little bit running behind because these guys really know what they're doing. And that's um, that's my already excuse building for why I'm going to get crushed so badly. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to show the people at home what my um, my monument does, uh, because everyone has a secret monument. We each have our own secret monuments. So I'm going to look at mine real quick. And then you guys got to stay out of chat because I'm going to rely on chat to to help me <laughs> out here. <laughs> I oftentimes rely on the viewers to tell me how badly I'm playing. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, I like that. Um, we have the uh, Master Builder Hammer. It's over with Pete. So I think that's where we're going to start. And everybody who's watching at home, like if you have questions about any of the buildings or you want me to zoom in on them so you can kind of read um, what the details of the buildings are, please do so. The building selection that we're using today is five new buildings, one original building, and then the cottage is always standard. So the five new buildings are the statue, the root cellar, the jeweler, the gambler's den, the cathedral, and the trading post is original. Um, and already that gave me hives because the last time I played Pete, he demolished me by doing a whole combination of trading posts in the middle of his board that all turned <laughs> into, uh, into wilds and, uh, and he really crushed me. So we'll see if it happens again. And Pete, right. you appear to be going first here, man. The hammer is by you. Okay. Um, I am going to start with a yellow, a wheat. I was about to get mad at you, Pete, for just for calling it a... Uh... A yellow? A yellow. Instead of using the actual resource names. I, I was wondering about that, if you guys internally always use those resource names, because I do forget what, what a couple of them are. I always remember glass, because I think it's cool that it's blue glass. But 
<laughs> we say we say the colors quite a bit. I would say over Skype. <laughs> yeah, <there>. yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to call. Uh, gray or stone. That, if that's called. Tell me if I'm wrong. Is it stone? Yep. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. I'm already changing my mind on what I was going to do. Mixing it up. Yeah, right. Lex, uh, Lex Judex, welcome to the, uh, to the stream. Tiny Towns is a favorite of ours. I got it by winning a Tiny Towns tournament at our FLG or LFGS. That's, that's very cool. Love the replayability and can't wait for the expansion. So. Awesome. Um, I'm, I'm going to call a, um, ooh, how do I want to call it? I feel like it won't be great for you guys. I'm going to call it glass, which is blue. What a sucker. That is exactly what I needed. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Don't, don't lie. Look at my board. What do you, what, what does it look like? Hmm, what might I need here next? Um, just to make Josh feel bad, I will say brick. <laughs> Sucker, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> this is, this is exactly how our uh, Skype is. This, is this how it always is, is, huh? <laughs> yeah, it really is. Yeah. So, so for as experienced players, do you guys have a decent idea when you look at a board? Like, do you do you start to see like the matrix letters coming down, right? <laughs> Where it's like I know, like I can, I can kind of tell what that guy's up to, kind of thing. Yeah, and and you know, it's kind of weird. We can see like photos on like Instagram of people's completed boards, and we're like, oh, they were playing with this set of buildings. Like it's yep. very clear to us. Yeah, um, yeah. Cause I think I, as the expansions go on, it'll be less clear. But yes, definitely. Yeah, because I um I I I see you, Pete. Sometimes people will tweet. You know, you'll you'll either see something on on somebody's timeline or whatever, and you'll be like, "Ooh, that's a really good score for for that combination of buildings." And I'm just like, "Oh man, like, <laughs> how many times have you looked at layouts of uh, of a tiny towns board? It's got to be a lot." Well, with fortune, Josh, do you know how many combinations of buildings we have? By because it was four thousand something in the base game, like four thousand sixteen or yeah. something like that. And now it's gone up to um, sixteen thousand something. Yeah, I think so. It's, yep. it's crazy. It just you know, <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> we tested all of them. We tested every we tested single, every single combination, every single yes. one, except yeah. for one of them, which would probably be a surprise. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm gonna call Stone again. Stone again. Now, should we be making copies of these resources to... Um, you can. Refill? I mean, we'll eventually, eventually we'll run out of them. But as we start clearing buildings, we can just put them back in the pile. Yeah. Um, Lex says, uh, it's so satisfying to hear the designers of the game talking to each other while playing the exact same way my wife and I do. LOL. Yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Um, and also, C uh, Senior Watashi, um, Pete's going to win. Got oh. a little fan club going oh. on over here. That's probably <laughs> Pete in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I think Josh, it's your call. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I'm gonna call another stone for us. Hmm. Perfect. It was not perfect. Don't don't lie. <laughs> I don't love I don't love that. Yeah, I know. If I call it. Yeah, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Pete. Okay, let me think here. Um All right. Yeah, I, I think I see what Josh is doing, maybe. I think I'm going to call I'm gonna call a ooh, how risky do I want to be? I'll call glass. <laughs> oh, hey, AJ, I, I gotta say you're 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 doing really well. Um, I I can tell you're just you're hanging in there. You you know you're not you don't have to get out too much. You're doing you know, the thing. you know I don't know if you I don't know if you're making fun of me, Josh. <laughs> No, no, I, I'm 100% serious. You know, you know, um, at this 
point, people people usually are um, very very scared having that many resources on their board without building something. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. I don't I don't love I don't love what uh what I have going on here. But you know whatever, we're learning. Um, all right, it's my call, right? Yeah. Right. I already screwed this up. Everyone's gonna really enjoy how watching watching this happen. Um, wood is it? It's called wood, right? It is yeah. called wood. Okay, so I'm gonna call wood. You see, it's named after me because we thought one of the resources should be named after <laughs> my name. I've never thought that once. <laughs> I've never thought that. Uh, that's funny. Um, Ouch. <laughs> so I'm actually I'm going to build. Um, okay. Great. I'm going to build uh, Katarina's Grotto right out of the gate. Um, and I'm going to do it early uh, mm -hmm. because this thing lets, it gives me two victory points. And when it's constructed, I place one coin from the general supply on each of the four center squares of your town. Gain each coin once there is a building on its square. Do I, do I get it even though I have a, a, a resource here? No, it's yeah. got to be a building. No, no, I mean like, do I get to put a coin there? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. All right. I thought maybe I had screwed it up and I wouldn't. I wouldn't get to place the coin there. But um, okay. Cool. We're gonna put all these here, and then I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. I'm gonna put my guy Ooh. over here. I'm gonna hope that works out. I've never played with Katarina's Grotto, uh, but it seems like a pretty cool way to get a bunch of coins. You removed the, the gray from the center spot, which you weren't supposed to. I did. That is, I was trying to yeah. cheat. I was trying to cheat, and I almost <laughs> pulled it off. <laughs> right in front of our oh, eyes. Yes. We're sorry. Uh, you, you didn't almost pull it off. Yeah, you're right. You're board right. Is, Vorpal board is very cheat-proof. Yeah. You People know. are watching too much. I, I would be calling a brick. Brick. A brick. Um... I've, I've tipped my hand to Pete very, uh, very clearly. Now, when we build two buildings, let's say I build two buildings on the same turn, do yeah. we get to choose which order those buildings occur? Yeah, great question. So, so um, the way that turns go is that someone calls a resource, everyone places that resource, um, then you can enter the building mode where you can build any number of buildings one at a time. So we build a building, resolve it, build your next building, resolve it. And then at the end of the, the round, if you built two or more buildings, you get a, a coin. Yeah, so like one obvious combo in this setup is we've got Root Cellar, which says when constructed, gain one coin, and then Gambler's Den, which is when constructed, gain two coins. So if you built those in the same round, you make the Root Cellar first to gain the one coin, then you build the Gambler's Den to gain two coins, and then you gain a fourth coin for making two buildings in one round, and you just filled your chest up. Okay. So, cool. yep. Um, okay, so it is my call. Um, he, 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 yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah, because you, not... you just called uh, Brick, I think, Jeff. Right? That is correct. Uh, yes. And I am going mm -hmm. to call another blue. Another blue? Blue, huh? That's always what my response is. I'm always like, huh, that's really what you want? So. Yeah, I mean that's so. I gotta say, guys, there just my initial feel of this is that there is this really adds a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, the new mode, I there's there's a lot to think about, which I like. Um, definitely, if you if you were getting bored with tiny towns, this adds I think a lot of mental uh, <coughs> stuff to it, which is very cool. Yeah, I mean, one of the good the, the goals that we wanted to do with this is um, in the beginning of the game, you just sort of build things and then it gets really tense at the end. Um, this makes the beginning a little bit more tense for you because, as you can see, um, Pete and I have almost filled our board completely and we haven't built a single thing yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I mean, if this were regular Tiny Towns and you saw either of our boards right now, <laughs> you'd be like, what are you doing? Yeah, what are, what are these two guys up to? Yeah, exactly. How did you allow this to Why happen? Why are they bad at this? Oh, right. <laughs> Do they know the rules of the game? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, holistic developer, is that an excuse for losing, James? It is. Yes, it definitely is. Um, okay, so is it my call? 
Yes. It is the call. All right. So, so let me think here for a hot second. I'm going to call. I'm going to call Stone. Mm. Because I feel like that is probably something you guys are not interested in seeing. Not interested. You're yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, because you both have uh, probably enough stone on the board as it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty fair. I didn't really want that stone. Um, this is this is. I mean, I'm in pretty deep. <laughs> I don't know how many fortune boards I've had that got this packed out of the gate. Oh, I love it. I, I, I just I love packing packing my board and then just being like, ooh, I'm gonna uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you like a little combo move that that I love uh, doing uh, in fortune. Um, it is now my turn as the master builder. So this is a good way for me to illustrate. I, I, I specifically um, did this so I could kind of showcase that, that rule that we were explaining. Um, I knew that I, I would be able to pull it off. So that, you know, you didn't have to worry about me. So I'm gonna call wood. And I, I was worried about you, Josh. Who are, really you, who are you trying to convince over there, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so if everyone can see, I, I have the correct way to build a trading post here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cubes to build a trading post. Um, and, um, whoops, I flipped it over. Oops. Oh, yeah, you can, you can uh, just double click it to flip it back over. Double click okay. is sort of the flip action. Great, sorry. No, and fine. then, um, so then I'm going to put that piece here. Um, and then I'm going to make a second building, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, flip over this card. Ooh, yeah, what do we do? What um, do we got going? And then, and then, so this is the Southern Semaphore. And so you can see I have almost all the build pattern, but then I'm missing this one thing. So I'm going to use the free resource from that to make a second building here. Nice. Um, and so, oh, I just picked up my whole board. If you drop it, it'll be okay. There you go. Okay, great. Line, line it back up a little bit. and then. You yeah. You got over one more square. Yeah, yeah. You were right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. Yep. You're good. You're right. Okay. And, um, I just have all these cubes here, but that's fine. I'll have a little pile for myself. Yeah, that's fine. You can just pull them from there. And then um, I'm going to copy my monument over, and then I'll just put it here. Um, the Southern Semaphore, um, when another player names a resource as Master Builder, um, I, I can just. Uh, place a second of that resource to, in order to gain a coin. I get one coin for building two buildings on my turn. And see, now my, my board feels all nice and clean again, and um, I'm ready to get going. Yeah, that cycle is interesting. The, the, the stress building cycle and then this like freeing, oh my gosh, I have so much space to try to get something done. Um, yeah, and it's emphasized in Fortune because those it comes less often because you're building two things at once, yeah. but it feels really good when you pull it off. Um, speaking of having a totally clean slate, well, it's not going to be totally clean, but uh, I'm going to say yellow, and then I am going to double build. So I am going to put a cottage up in my corner up there. Oh, I did the same thing that Josh did. Yeah. For, Is there for a way those... to lock my board? There will be. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's currently currently in development. That's one that uh, that has popped up. Um, James, have you guys looked into adding bowls or bags functionality into Vorpal board? Those loose pieces on the side are making me anxious. <laughs> LOL. Yeah. Um, sort of some, um, every time we play with cubes, uh, and, and if, if you all watch the Spire's end stream, we kind of had a similar feedback. When we play with cubes, it can get a little bit fiddly with just how many cubes there are. Um, and sort of like one at a time dragging them out of there. So, um, manipulating little tiny pieces is something that's still kind of is uh, kicking around in our heads how we want to do it. Um, did you both take coins for your... Oh, you didn't double build there, James, but Correct. Josh, did you take a coin when you double built? Yep, yep, I have a coin right here. Okay, gotcha. All right, it was off the screen for me. Um, okay, so I made... Oops, how did I grab two coins there? Oh, I didn't. I thought I did. Uh, okay, so I am making the Prism Forge. Um, James, are you able to flip my card? Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. I had a weird... Yeah. All right, so the Prism Forge, you get one, po one, uh, one point, and you may construct two unique buildings using overlapping layouts in the same round. Interesting. 
So this is one of the ones that works with base game and can be great with base game, but it really shines with fortune because it just makes it easier to build two things at once to get those coins. So Excellent. we'll see if I we'll see how often I can make use of that. Okay, nice. All right, I'm gonna call. Hmm. Red. Brick. All right. Oh boy. Um. Um. I'm gonna use uh, my power of a southern semaphore to place an additional um, uh, brick and do that. <clears throat> yeah. Interesting. OK, cool. So then you just did two reds in order to, to turn that on. That's neat. All right, you're up, Josh. All right. Um, you know, I'm going to call uh, wood. From my pile it's actually really good for me. I, I changed my mind. <laughs> oh no, I've already <laughs> placed the cube. I've already placed the cube. What is the, is there an official rule? I I've you know what's funny? I've never read the rule book to Tiny Towns Pete because you taught it to me originally. Uh huh. And so I hope that you taught it to me right because <laughs> I, I never actually read it. Is there is there a rule on when you can, if you can or cannot? Call back your call once something is placed. I think that's sort of a group decision because, of course, if you call a resource and everyone groans, or or like say everyone says like yes, finally, right? Um, I think yeah, it would be mind. yeah, it would be a little a little against the spirit of the game to say actually I'm just going to say brown and that everyone groans. Um, right. I don't know. I think it's a, a group by group basis. Usually, when people take back a resource, it's because they genuinely said the wrong thing, right? And the other resource would have messed up their plans. So yeah, I guess I the, mean, the key is like everybody just keep your 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 uh, ex exhortations to yourself until until it's it's for sure. I guess. Yes, um, but if you choose to play that way, I'm not going to kick down your door and say, "Hey, you're having fun the wrong way." I'm <laughs> always always a very good politician answer out of Pete. <laughs> You're doing it wrong, but I'm not going to say you're doing it wrong. Um, no, no, that's totally fine. Okay, so uh, Josh, is it your call? Sorry. Oh, no, you just called Brown. No, Josh just called Brown. I'm not even sure what I want to call. Um, maybe I do it. Maybe I do know what I'm going to call. I think I'm going to... I will call a yellow. I'm gonna pay a coin uh, to make that um, the opposite of a yellow. What's the opposite of a yellow? Uh, a, a blue, of course. Oh gosh, how could I forget? But yeah, the uh, that that's the the dictated opposite of yellow, right? All right, so you did a yellow, so I need to. And we actually have a really. Not not a lot of yellow options in uh Yeah. That guy, guy can get those coins out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Get ready to spend in some cash. Um okay, so it's my turn. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call Stone. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that. I'll uh, there. Alright, so then I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some building. Um I'm going to first build a root cellar here in the top corner. Um so that will take care of a root cellar for me. Put a Then that will net me a coin. And then I'm going to build a gambler's den down here in the bottom. 
which will net me two coins. Oh, I see. Do the combo that Pete talked about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the very, very unique combo that was just brought up on the stream right before I did it. Yes, exactly. Um, and we'll, so we'll put that here. And that gets me, uh, for folks who are watching at home, um, I gain two coins if I already have one. So I'm going to gain two coins. So now I have three coins. And then I gain a fourth coin for the fact mm -hmm. that I did two buildings on the same turn. So Pretty good. It. Coined up. All right, Josh, all you. And Pete, did you, did you eventually decide what to do with your stone there? Um, yes, I did, but I'm actually wondering if I want to put it somewhere else. I think I do. Um, yeah, I think I want to do that okay um yep oh no 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 i don't mm -mm. Okay. okay there we go oh uh, yeah i see what he's gonna do <laughs> did you see what i almost tried to do yeah 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 i, I, I almost what tried to do it i almost I, tried I'm to actually do glad, I'm actually glad you didn't i'm actually glad you didn't do it because um because I want to call a uh, brick, and that would have helped you. So. Well, no, I was going to try to illegally use Prism Forge to make two of the same building, which you cannot do. Oh, um, yes. I forgot. I would have, I would have hosed that myself. That's what we made. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so you called brick there, Josh, right? I did. I called brick. I don't know if I said it loud. But... An old brick. Oh, you called brick. Um... Hmm. So when you guys are playing Fortune, do you always try to be doing double buildings? Like, are you, or do you sometimes do it and sometimes like you're, you're playing it like a normal round, you know, like what is, how has your play style changed? I think with Fortune, I, I even, I'm usually working three or four buildings deep. Right now I have the ability, um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm one resource away from building three different buildings. Um, and so I, I, um, I, I don't know, you, you, it depends. Some, sometimes early on, and I think people agree with me on this, sometimes you do try to go two buildings early, even three buildings early, and then you start to kind of pare down as the stuff goes down throughout the game. Yeah. yeah. I am working on five buildings and it is not going great. Well, I, I want you guys to know I'm working on six buildings. Oh man! <laughs> what? Just draw that like calculus thing coming out of my yep. head. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not working on six. Well, points. well, the cra the crazy thing is with the prism forge. You, um, it, it can be very be beneficial, but a lot of times people lose with it because it can really break your brain a little mm, bit. Yeah, yeah. You're, breaking, breaking you're, 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 bit you're, you're trying to like overlap the buildings in your head, and you're like, okay, so then I can use that same wood for this thing, and then. And then you almost make an illegal play, like like Pete almost did. <laughs> yeah, I almost, I almost. The ultimate it. shame, making an illegal play in your own <laughs> game, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's my call. Yeah. And I'm going to call a brown. And so I'm going to use that Prism Forge ability, so folks who are watching can see I can make a trading post, and I can also make a root seller. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Although. It's sort of funny. I, I, I'm saying I'm using my Prism Forge to do this, but I could, of course, just make the trading post first and then use the trading post ability. Right. Um, but it, we're going to say... Where you want to place that trading post. Um, okay, I'm going to use a coin to swap that resource out. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to take this opportunity to... Um, I'm going to build a root seller... It's actually a really good point, Josh. I'm, I am going to put my trading post somewhere else, so I would not have been able to do this. If you were, if you were relying on the trading post. Oh, there goes my board. Yeah, this is a better, this is a better move, really. Um, so yes, only with Prism Forge could I... So I'm going to do the thing where I build a root cellar for one coin, and then I'm going to move my board around. Uh, <laughs> Just to show that feature. Yeah, this is um, this is highlighting our need to add individual component locking ASAP. Uh, no, I think it's I think this is all great. Um, all right, and 
Um, I'm going to build a trading post, uh, not a trading post, a uh, gambler's den there. Uh, that is going to max out my coins. I'm going to copy some coins for us because I feel like you guys are just taking Yeah, I just copied one. Yeah, because uh, I, I, I screwed it up by getting those four right in the middle. Yeah, you depleted it. And then making four immediately, which maybe was not the right combination to do, since now I just have way too many coins. Uh, I think it's all good. <clears throat> all right, so I'm up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call Glass. I knew you were, and I I'm okay with that. The ultimate insult. Not only did I know what you were going to call, but I am fine with it. So are those copies of Fortune behind you there, Josh? Is that what I'm looking at? Uh, no, these are, these are uh, German Tiny Towns. I oh, German there. Tiny Towns. Okay, cool. Oh, I don't have one of those yet. Yeah, I don't either. But um, it, it's kind of funny because the, the cover still just says Tiny Towns on it. But yeah. With our partner, Package Spiel. But like, you know, the back is all in German. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked at the cards individually on that, but... I've seen a couple of the different versions. Um, mm -hmm. There's like the French version. And, yeah, the French one just came out. And there's some other ones that I know are happening that I've seen like the files for and everything, but it's it's exciting. Yeah, very cool. Um, okay, so uh, Josh, you're up. Unless anybody's building. Nope. Um, no, I'm gonna call I'm going to call it brown. I'm going to take the opportunity to not do a. Opposite of a. The opposite of brown. <laughs> Which is in this case a yellow. You can just do whatever you want when you call it, say it's not. <laughs> Did you guys have people in your lives that just dominate you at Tiny Towns? No. No, I'm pretty much the reigning <laughs> champ. <laughs> I, 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 will say, I will say that um, um, when I started developing Tiny Towns, it was very clear that, that Pete and I were the two best players in the world. Um, Naturally, but, yeah. but, but through a lot of play tests, um, there are people who are getting better and do occasionally challenge us. Um, I played a game earlier today, and um, John Clare, the designer of uh, Mystic Veil vale and uh, Space Base, uh, he, he beat me in an earlier game. But to be fair, I, it, it was my own fault. I, 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 mis I misread a card that I invented, <laughs> and it just didn't work out. <laughs> That, I, you know, you, I, I will say I do fall prey to that a lot, where Pete and I will be working on cards so many times that mm -hmm. like I'll accidentally use a different version of the card in my head. I'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to read these cards, and then I will like do something. In fact, it might happen in this game. Like there might be just something that happens where you go, Josh, that's not how that card is written, and I'll be like, oh man. Yeah, yeah. I I sometimes I still get the resources mixed up. Um, like I'll be building something as basic as chapel and I just invert the blues and the grays and I go, Oh, that, that blue in the corner is going to live there forever. Isn't it? Cause I totally messed up this very basic building layout. So that still happens to me from time to time. Um, is it my call now? No, I think it's Josh's. I think Josh called Brown. Oh yeah, he did. That's right. Brown. And I, I spent a dollar to avoid it. So you're up. This isn't, this isn't to be cruel, but I'm going to say another Brown which I do need. Mm. Mm. Um, so yes, I'm going to, to do that. Well, I'm about to start claiming all those coins in the middle of the board, so I'm going to spend another coin. Actually, I am going to build right now. I think it's to my advantage to do so. So I'm going to make myself another trading post. Oh, I don't want that brown. But will I pay a coin for it? <laughs> the ultimate and, question. And then I'm going to make yeah, well, a cathedral. 
which costs me three coins, but Ooh, interesting. I earn one for building two, so that brings me down. Oh yeah, to... and it's worth seven victory points. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. That's a that's a great card that that we really like. It gives you seven victory points, but you have to spend three money when you do it. But if you if you don't do it, um, you instead just uh, will make a statue in this case. Yeah. Um, and and it's just sort of funny to us that you're like um, you're trying you're like I'm going to build this great cathedral, and then you run out of funding, and then you're just like, right. oh, we made a statue. Statue's, <laughs> yeah. statue's good well. enough. Yeah. yeah. Nobody will yep. remember. I also like that you have to have them, right? They're not next to each other, right? That's the other thing? Yes, yes. Yeah. In fact, in fact, it's kind of funny. I, I was just starting to make them so they could be next to each other. Mm -hmm. um, that was something that we added in um, as a rule pretty late into the game. And I just forgot that a second ago. And then I almost uh, hurt us. That would have been tragic. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, all right. So I'm going to do... I'm gonna call Brick. Brick. Okay. Well, I literally just uh, swapped for a brick, so I'm not gonna say that I hate that. In fact, ah, uh, you know, I think what I'm gonna do is I, I am going to I'm gonna place two bricks to get a coin. Nice. That's a cool. That's a cool monument. Um, yeah, it's a fun one. Yeah, yeah. And people, people really like. Uh, holistic developer. Good question. So my private building card um, is face <laughs> up. So the eyeball indicates that that I am showing it to them, so they can see the the Caterina's uh, Grotto. Got it. Can you, can, can everyone see my southern seven form? Yep. Yep. Okay, great. Um, okay. So I have. Um, uh, so I'm going to build something right now. So I'm going to, first of all, build a cathedral. Nice. You guys are both you got dueling cathedrals. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so I got a cathedral going. And then that takes me down to one coin. And then I'm going to build a, um, a gambler's den. Um, Very clever. A nice, clever combo there. Yeah, so that takes me down to one, and then I build those, taking me up to three, and then I build, take me back up to four, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Cool. <clears throat> I'm going to build two um, cottages. This column over here. Nice. And that <clears throat> nets me a coin. Then uh, you're up, Josh. All right. I know I have literally laid three bricks in a row, but I think I'm going to call another brick. Yeah. I'm into it. <laughs> Dig it. You're here for the bricks, huh? Here for the bricks. Mm hmm. No one's built. Uh, oh, I guess I guess you built two cottages, James. I'm, I was wondering what Pete was thinking about doing with, with no. Uh... You have no idea. You're doing something that nobody's ever even thought of in Tiny Towns tonight. Yep. All right, Pete, what do you got? Okay, so I'm going to use... Well, I'm going to call glass. Oh, and Pete, I'm going to place two of those. <laughs> wow. Even though... <laughs> so the reason I'm doing that is so I'm going to make a cottage and I'm going to make a jeweler because of Prison Forge and using Trading Post. Um, so the, oop, the cottage is going to go down there. And the jeweler is going to go right next to it. So effectively, uh, I have to spend a coin for the jeweler. I earn a coin for making two things. I still have one coin. Right. Um, so I'm going to use my two blues and my red here. Um, I'm going to build another cathedral. Wow. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, I'm going to place this here. Um, I lose three coins, returning them back into the supply where they came. 
This is a uh, this is a good combination of cards. A lot of weird stuff you can do with this set of buildings. This was a good call, mm -hmm. Pete, on the set of buildings. Thanks. Um, okay, so I'm up. Yes. Yep. All right, I'm gonna call Brown. Brown. <laughs> and that's going to mm. give me a trading post. I gotta think about that. I gotta think about how much of... I do not like that. Yeah, I'm gonna spend a coin and make it a uh, glass. Um, let me think here. No, I think I'll. I think I'll take it. Um, and in fact, I'm gonna use my trading post and then these three resources. I'm gonna build a. Um, oh. Oh, uh, see, this is this is how I get in trouble. This is how I get in trouble. I I thought that that was a tea house, oh, which is a building that would get me coins. Oh, um, well, you could just still make that. You could just still make that jeweler, Josh. Yeah, uh, but I would give everyone else a coin. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> FYI, you can do that, uh, but it wouldn't help me because I already have four. So don't. So yeah, that's. With cathedral, if you can't pay the cost, you have to place a, a you know a statue or a well or whatever it happens to be instead. With jeweler, if you cannot pay the cost, then everyone else gains one coin. Yeah, which is pretty nice uh, for everybody. Yeah, I wow, I, I was just talking about about that whole thing, and and then I and then I did. Here we are. Here we are. Uh, question okay. from chat. How do you control the Z order of the different components? So the way that we do it is we actually just sort of like sync stuff down based on their size. So the smaller something is, the, the more it will sit on top of other things. Um, and so the boards sync below the components. There are some instances that we've run into, and Space Base is one of them. You mentioned Space Base earlier, that you actually mm. want to tuck a card behind your board um that we're still just kind of thinking through how we want it maybe just up and down arrows um will let you sync stuff manually below because it happens very infrequently but in space space that's uh that's one that we've been messing around with that we needed to do that so that's how it works. that's really that's a really elegant solution just to do it by like area of the components yeah, yeah. if they're within a, they're within like 25 percent of each other we just let them be however you yeah. position them um, because you, with cards, if the cards are slightly different sizes, you don't want one always like sinking to the bottom. So, yep. so we try to, we try to use like the most logical thing and then maybe we'll add some, some specific functionality for the weird one-off cases. Um, okay. okay. So I placed um, an extra glass since, since I forgot how jeweler worked. So I placed an extra glass in my center floor. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So am I, is it my um, call? No, no, yeah, I think you just called the glass, right? Um, you called brown. I called, called brown. Wood. Yep. Oh, so I can't double that. I, I paid a coin to turn that into a um, into a not brown. Yeah, um, I called the brown and made a... Uh... I, can't, I can't duplicate that, so okay. Yeah. Um, okay, I, I guess I am going to shed a small tear because things didn't go the way that I wanted them to, but I'm gonna call glass. Glass again? Sometimes I just do what I have to do. Sometimes I just gotta call glass. Ugh. All right. Okay, is everyone ready? Yeah. I'm gonna call a yellow. Oh, the hated yellow. Mm -hmm. It's just misunderstood. <laughs> um, okay, I will place that yellow there. I don't have this coin. Anybody doing any building? Nope. You no, know, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I think I am going to build. I kind of need to get myself out of this hole. So I will place a second yellow. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I will build uh, two cottages. So I'll build um, 
So I'll get a coin for placing a second yellow and then a coin for two cut for, for building two buildings in the same turn. I'll place one cottage here and I'll place one cottage here. So what's interesting is um, uh, for, for folks who didn't notice the, the way that, um, that the root cellar works at the end of the game. So in normal tiny towns, you have to feed your cottages in order for them to score points. The way the root cellar works is at the end of the game, it will feed any number of buildings in a row or column, but you have to spend $1 per row or column that you want to feed. So we, we all, if we're going to try to feed a bunch of stuff, need to remember that we need to save a dollar to spend it at the very end of the game, which I think is especially interesting. Yeah, very much so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm up, and I'm going to call... Stone. E. Stone. Um, yeah, let me think. That's going to allow me to build my first uh, cathedral, actually. Hmm. For folks who are, are watching, I used this trading post as a wild um, to, to make myself able to build. I will say, James, you, you have a very um, clear board right now. In fact, I have the most filled board, which I'm actually a little surprised. I mean, that is well, sort of the disadvantage of the Southern Semaphore is that you yes. fill the board yep. really quickly. And I, I had a six a six piece monument. Yes. So, so that's nice too. Mm hmm. Oh, and then I have to spend three dollars. I almost forgot to spend the three dollars. Oh yeah, uh, that would have that little thing. That would have been a little asterisk on this game if I had forgotten. Oh well, well, we would just made you turn into a statue. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, that's right. Sorry, you did not fund that cathedral. Um, okay, so you're up, John. You know, I'm going to call uh, glass. I think again. I, I feel like James, you're you're not loving these glass calls. No, not it, particularly, you know, but whatever. It, it, who knows who knows how you feel about it? Um, it is not my favorite right now. <laughs> I hear you. I'm not into it. <laughs> um I got some choices to make here. I find that I'm a little bit too impulsive for this game in that like I'll just be like, eh. I'll just start like building a building over there and like it'll work itself out. I'm not going to worry too much about other options. Yeah, um, I, I always say that in tiny fine, towns, who cares? Right. As soon as you say, I'll figure that one out later, you've committed yourself to some serious trouble. <laughs> right. Yeah. I got, I got some good news for you guys. I, I am giving you all a coin because I'm going to build a jeweler, but I'm not going to pay for it. Whoa. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's not optional. It's not optional. Another change we made. Cough it up. That was a change we made. Yes, there was a time when it was optional. Now, now am I? Can I not take it? Well, regardless, Josh is is I'm going to have it. to pay for his jeweler. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then and then and then we also get the dollar. No, no. no. Oh, uh, okay. I actually, yeah. I'm still thinking about this glass. It's it's a very yeah. Bad. The, the way we, 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 I remember we we were a jeweler at the end, so. You have to pay a dollar if you can, got and then it. if you can't, got it, then got it, got it, got it. Okay, so so you can't make the call. Oh, I'm not paying for that. Yeah, we. I think there was like a tiny issue where we felt like, oh, people could just kind of sit on that move and yeah, move sort of weird stuff. And um, yeah, I think we. I think we ultimately just decided, you know, it was better for the game if we um, well, did it this. I think that guiding yourself, I mean, and, and Pete, in conversations I've had with you about similar things like this, but like guiding yourself in the direction of like not allowing people to do strategies that are like cheesing the rules is a good yeah. idea. You know, like come up with a strategy that is by the rules. Don't come up with a strategy that like everybody else is going to look at you and be like, come on, man. Like that is irritating to us. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, like, I like that. Yeah. You want people to make sure that when you pull up a good move, they go, oh, you're, you're very clever and yeah, right. that's an interesting thing. And I want to try that in the next game. Not, ugh, pain. 
Yeah, yeah. right. Um, speaking of really clever moves, uh, I am going to call red. Okay. And then I will make use of my Prism Forge yet again. Uh, oh, now I have a little bit of a decision there where I should put stuff. Uh, hmm. Well, I am, I am not doing a good job of keeping my, my area over here clean. <laughs> yeah, I, I sorted the resources here. Oh boy. <laughs> um, okay, I think what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to put the gambler's den up there. It's actually a good thing you didn't just give us a coin because that would have that would have made me earn less money, Josh, if you had done that. I, I know. I, I actually planned that specifically because I saw you guys trying to wow. do the Yeah, like I saw the, the those moves and I was like, oh sweet. And then wow. I, um, yep. And so I'm a little I'm a little sad, but it's okay. <laughs> All right. And that earns me another coin. Feeling comfy. Feeling Ooh, good. Look at that. Look at the rich guy over there. Good feeling. Yep. Now, it's funny. One thing Josh and I both experienced after doing tons of playtesting of Fortune is whenever we went back to vanilla Tiny Towns, base game Tiny Towns without Fortune, it feels immediately terrifying. It feels yeah. like someone could just say yellow, and there's nothing I can do about <laughs> it. Um, so it definitely takes the pressure off a little bit. Um, yeah. So it's, it's interesting to go back and forth between them. All right, I'm going to call I'm going to call uh brown. Brown. Yeah, I saw it coming in. Okay. That's pretty gross. I'm going to pay one. This is the first coin I've paid actually to change one. And I'll just do that. Um, ooh, is that where I want that? Is that where I want that? I think it is. Yep. Okay. All right. Gosh. Yeah, I think. Um... And I analyze the board real quickly. Oh, one thing I didn't actually notice that I'm going to point out to people at home is my uh, monument has the ability to carry another coin. Uh, yeah. This little uh, half circle there on the side of the card, uh, that means I can actually carry five coins instead of four. I actually didn't notice when I flipped it over. So. I am calling a glass. Oh. And that's going to allow me to make a gambler's den. I don't like a glass call. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are not going to like that. Um, yeah, actually. <laughs> yeesh. <laughs> oh, I got a weird decision to make. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm not going to deal with that glass. I'm going to pay a coin, even though it's about to be my call. And I'm going to place a brick. And yes, I have that right. I'm going to make a jeweler. Yeah. And that cost me a coin. Often up my second coin. Those this jewelers, round. jewelers are worth four. Wow. Yeah. We get to spend a coin when you have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, okay, and now it's my call? I believe yeah. so, yeah. And I'm going to call a red. And I'm going oh, to I'm gonna let it sit there. It's just going to sit there. Well, I'm going to build first a gambler's den. That will get me. And 
Then I'm going to build another cottage. Well, get me another coin for the double, double bonus here. Thanks. Now I'm back up to four coins again. Enrich. All right, my call? Yeah. All right, I'm going to call... Um, I'm just going to call red again. Hmm. Yeah, hmm, indeed. Um, okay, uh, I am going to... Ooh... That's a weird yeah, thing. Yeah, I like do. this. Yeah. I was going to try to make a third cathedral right here. And so I could put a red here. Um, but then I'd call a blue. Then, then I mean, Peter would block me and not give me a blue. <laughs> um, um, so what I am going to do is... Um, I'm going to place that red there. I'm still thinking. I'm going to give up on that idea. Um, Unfortunately, um, um, <clears throat> oh, I just realized what I, I just realized what I can do, what I could have done last time, too. You know what? I'm actually going to spend a coin and get rid of that. I, I, uh, I'm going to just play the game a little safe. I think, I think I'm, a, I think I might be ahead. Josh, I want to watch what I'm going to do here. I should have done this last time. I'm going to make a gambler's den and a jeweler with just these two. I should have done this last time. It was a mistake for me not to. So actually, this red's going to live here. I'm totally not going to regret that. So this becomes my gambler's den. How do you make a jeweler? Be... Yeah, how are you going to make a jeweler? Because I'm using that red with the gray, with the trading posts, with prism forge. Overlapping. Mm -hmm. The two layouts. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, uh, maybe that's my old board. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I gave you the prison forge because. Um, that's knew, clever. You, that's you, really clever. I knew, I knew you'd do some fun things for the audience <laughs> with, with uh, trading posts. And that was, that, that was more thought that I wanted than what I wanted to do today. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been, my brain's been. And high gear a little bit. That, um, okay. uh, so you're, anytime you're... you get the two trading posts, you can start doing some really weird stuff. I feel. Yes. Yeah. So I, I gain the coin for making two at once. I have to spend it for the jeweler. So I'm back at three. That's correct. Okay. And now I think it's Josh's call. Yeah, I think I am. Um... For the record, I thought that 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 uh, that brick was going to not be popular, and people. Went hog wild on it. Yeah, yeah, I went a little crazy on the jewelers the past couple times. Okay, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call wood. Um, and then I'm gonna double build a uh, a cottage first. So I'm gonna make a cottage. Mm, I just realized this combo. You guys, you guys, uh, someone gonna duplicate their cottage. I'm gonna make a cottage. And I coughed up a coin to place glass. Um, might turn out to just be an awful play, but I'm about to be out first. Surprise! I've really abused my two trading posts there. Yeah, I'm going to um, I'm going to build a statue. First statue of the game. Um, that's going to gain me two coins. Um, plus, I gain a coin for building two buildings this turn, but I'm only going to. But I'm going to unfortunately uh, not gain one of those coins. So that is where I live. Hey, holistic developer, thanks for hanging out, man. Good to see you. Uh, all right, you're up, Heat. 
Okay, I'm going to call a brick again. And I'm going to make myself another jeweler and a cottage. Brick. Uh, you went absolutely like uh, jeweler district here. Yeah, this is the most jewelers I've ever made. Um, so I have to pay one for making the jeweler, but I earn one for making two. And then I guess I'll just copy my cottage right here. Yeah, that cottage. I think we're a cottage. Probably approaching many components as we've had in a game. I'd love to see the total count. Even though you've done Gloomhaven? I guess I don't really, I haven't played yeah, Gloomhaven. Yeah, no, Gloomhaven, 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 you have, you know, the remote player has maybe like 15. Oh, okay. All right, so you done? Yep. Oh, so you're... Well, not done done. I've got one space. One space left, yeah. Big plans, big plans for it. Okay, so I need to make sure that it's not something that you can... It. You can't stop me. Oh, I've you have money. You got powerful. the money. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I forgot about the money. Um, all right. So I'm going to do. I'm going to do another wood. <laughs> all right. And I'm going to make a statue. Otherwise, if I made a cottage, I wouldn't have enough money to feed everyone. Man, it's crazy that you're going out, Pete. I'm done. Yeah, well, I really, I used Prison Forge like three or four times. So that meant I was filling it faster. And I used my trading post a lot. So that nabs me two coins. I just got to think about my play here. And that is it for me. Adjacency is only orthogonal, right? Yep, that's okay, correct. Cool. And, and you are completely out, right? I'm done. Okay, so <clears throat> then I know that I'm safe to do this move. Um, I'm going to change... <laughs> the move is only a move that when, when Pete is out of the game. Well, well I'll, I'll, explain, I'll explain why. It's just because I'll have more turns as Master Builder. Mm -hmm. um, okay. <clears throat> so, um, yes, I, I should be good here. Um, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Um, so I I'm going to call, um, blue. And then I'm going to use my trading post to build a, a third cathedral. Wow. I have to keep up with your jewelers. <laughs> I'm going to spend. That's your second cathedral, right? That's my third. third. Man, yeah. Where's your other one? Am I not seeing it? I have three right here in a triangle. Yeah. Oh, you know, I don't see that. I don't see this one. Oh, interesting. I have one right there, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to spend a dollar. Oh, now I see it. I'm going to spend a dollar to not uh, not take that, that, that glass. I'm going to turn it into a stone. Right. And uh, with that stone, I'm going to make another trading post. Isn't it interesting how tough that monument is, James, to get those coins? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of thought like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be raking in that money, no problem. But then, yeah. you know, like I, I was yeah. always, I would, I would have too many coins, so I didn't want to. Yeah, it, it, it's got this weird feeling to it where you're like two points plus four coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then at a certain point, you go, oh man, like, <laughs> yeah, how do I get those coins? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, I just kind of like forgot about them and just left them and said, okay, I'm going to like build my strategy. And then when I get the coins, I get the coins, I guess, which maybe is not the best way to play it. But um, okay, so I'm up and I'm going to call a stone again. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm going to place the stone here and then I'm going to build a statue. Okay. Um, the statue gains me. Um, Two, two coins. One, two, three, three coins. Yeah, three coins. Ugh. Three coins. Wow, that, that hurts. Um. Okay. So I'm going to. I'm going to build a. I'm 
I'm not going to... Oh, this is going to be a close game. I'm going to build, I'm going to build a cathedral. That $3 price tag is really a bummer when you start thinking about if you can do two buildings uh, or two cathedrals at the same time because you just can't finance it all at once. Yeah. Um, well, at least you have the two coins sitting there on your board, and Josh is, Josh is done, right, Josh? I, I have a call. I have, yep. I have one call to make. And... I'm going to put it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I am going to call a, a wheat for the final resource. Wheat, huh? Yeah. Really don't want to spend a dollar to stop that. But. But you're going to do it. I think I have to. I think I have to. Like, I, I can't afford to get a wheat. So that was a very good call, which I'm sure yeah. you planned out. <laughs> um. Hmm. Josh, what's your monument? Uh, it's Southern 704. Mm -hmm. I have one point for it. How many coins are you going to have left over? I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have two after I feed all my buildings. Josh, I think I beat you on the tiebreaker. Oh, really? I think I beat you for fewest turns as Master Builder, yeah. Because I think we're both sitting at 44 by my quick math, which might be wrong. Oh, no, you've got the empty space. I think I, I, think I got you. Man, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of screwed here. Uh, but I'm going to put this one right here. Okay. And now I go, right? Is this just me? You go. You me? Just go. Okay. It is you. All right. So I'm going to All right. I'm going to use these three pieces to build a uh cottage. Mm -hmm. And at the exact same time, I will build a jeweler. Nice. So when I build the, the cottage, I will collect this coin. Mm hmm I guess I will put the cottage here. And then I will build the jeweler using these four. I, I, I will tell you right now, you could build the jeweler first and then just give me a coin, but not Pete a coin. <laughs> and then you will get to hold on to that coin. Uh, <laughs> if you need it for feeding, like 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 I'm actually serious that the the feeding is something you need yeah, to think about. Yeah, I, I need one at the end, right? Is what I'm is what I'm nervous about. But 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 I'm I'm just gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna keep rolling, right? So yeah. so so I took the dollar for for building this guy. I build the jeweler. Um, I'm gonna build the jeweler and put him uh, down here. And then I have to spend a coin. But then I get the yeah. coin right back for doing two. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to build another uh, co oh, build another cottage. Yep. Right here, and that's going to net me this coin. And then I'm going to build uh, a statue. And I kind of screwed this up because I ended up not using any of my dang uh, trading posts at all. Well, that, that, you could walk it back before you make that cottage. And do and something the with statue, these trading posts. Make the statue first because all you need is one. You can make a cottage with one resource in that space above your trading posts. Yeah. Oh, so right. That's right. I could do statue, statue. For coins. Yes, statue yes, yes, for yes, coins. Yes. Yep. Cottage. Good yeah. point. Good point. All right. So I'll do statue here. And that nets me just, I think, one coin, right? Because I need yes yeah so that, that nets me one coin then i could do another statue or you want to get nuts <laughs> i'm gonna build Good another luck. i'm gonna build another cathedral oh my gosh but, but then, then you're but then i won't have, have any money. money then i won't have any money so that that the, the exchange rate there isn't good enough. 
So, so well, I, you can make a cathedral, and then you could make another statue for one coin, so you would not feed one of those cottages. Oh yeah. no, no, no! I'd sure. get two coins. I'd get two coins. Yeah, because I'd have two. I'd have two, th three buildings. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah. So. Oh, so, that is the move. All right. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build. Did you just win a cathedral? Oh, it's gonna be so close. At the top. Yeah. And then, and then the I'll pay this. And then I'll build a statue, which will net me two coins. Wow, nicely okay. done. Oh, very this good. makes me close. It's going to be very close. All right, there we go. Okay. Wow. All right, Pete, you want to start? Yeah, so I have my four cottages for 12. I have four jewelers for 16, so that's 28. 29, 30 with the two trading posts. I've got the two gamblers' dens for 34. I have my cathedral, which brings me to 41. My monument is worth one point. I have to pay two coins to feed. Um, so I have two left over for 44. 44, all right. Pete, do you want to score mine? Because you can do it very fast. Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> done this a few times. So you've got your four fed cottages, so you have to pay your two coins there yep. to feed them. So that is 12. Then you have 13, 14 for your trading posts. You've got your one jeweler, which brings you to 18. You have two gambler's dens for four more for 22. You have three cathedrals for 21 more. So you're at 43. Uh, you're at 43. You have no empty spaces. Your monument is worth two. 45. You're at 45. 45. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. <laughs> okay. So for me, I'll start with my cathedrals. That takes me up to... Um, 21. Uh, then my trading post for another nine, so that takes me to 30. Um, I have one jeweler, so that takes me to 34. One trading post, uh, 35. Uh, <clears throat> statues are worth nothing, so 35. Root sellers are nothing. And then my cottages, uh, so I was at 35. So I'm at 35 plus nine, um, so 44. 44. Well, Josh, you, you scored nine for your gambler's den. Shouldn't that be six? Yes, is that, yes, that is correct. Yes. Um, so take off three points off my score, but then add on one for my monument. Um, so, I already lost count. So yeah, 41 plus one for your monument is 42. Minus one for your empty space is 41. Plus two for your coins is 43? Uh, no, plus two coins, so 44. But you were at 41, so 41 You're and 43. 41. Uh, 41, I was at 41, then I went up by one from my 774 to 42, uh, and, then, and then two coins, right? 44. I, I, I lost you for a second. I, I thought it was 41 for sure. Hold on. It, 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 it could be, but hold on. <laughs> you know, uh, so 21 uh, plus uh, 21 plus 6. So 27. Mm -hmm. uh, then my jeweler takes me to 31. Uh, 31 plus 3 cottages takes me to 40. Uh, 41 with the trading post down to 40 for the empty space uh back up to 41 for my uh for my uh, monument and then 42 43 so 43 so we literally had a 43 44 45 game. wow yes yes i got a little bit of help from the designers at the end but i feel good all right that, no i mean that was a really well played game on everyone's parts i was yeah. scared when i saw all of your cathedrals um, yeah 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 i i I was, I kind of was, uh, was a little, I was a little unsure where, where that was going to finally end up at, at the end there. Um, I, yeah, I didn't go for cathedrals because I just got scared that it was too late and I wasn't going to have enough money. Um, but I figured I can pay a couple of coins for a few jewelers. And then I, once I made that gambler's down, I was like, oh, I can make a couple more jewelers here. Yeah, um, I think I, my, my strategy was not, did not take into account pulling it off with the statues so that yeah that was 
not in the plan. So I my plan was to try to get that third uh cathedral but in but all that went out the window when i realized i was going to have to need two gold to pay for my dang mm -hmm. uh co mm -hmm. cottages i was i was trying to make it so i only had one gold to pay for the for the cottages but, but then that that plan went yeah it's sort of the similar thing that happened with me right like uh, when i built this uh third cathedral here i knew it was going to leave me with an empty space here um and then i just knew if you didn't call gray or brown then i would build call gray or brown so i would have enough to um feed my buildings so i wasn't worried about that um but you know who knows if i even would have just turned that cathedral um into a you know into a statue over here mm -hmm. and then you know built another cottage and another statue over here um you know i i wonder I, I like wonder like i'll probably do the math later tonight when i can't sleep for a reason <laughs> um but but it'll be it'll be interesting to just see what could have could have been you know? cool yeah yeah so that awesome was, that yeah that was great that was a really good game i think everybody was kind of doing different stuff i i did pete yeah. steal your your double my game tonight when i looked at the cards you played was like i'm doing that double trading post i don't care it, there yeah. were too many interesting opportunities that i saw the last time i played with you where you did it and i was like okay i'm gonna try to do something interesting with double trading yeah, yeah, you did it a bit late, but it's, it is what won you the game. It paid sure. off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you know what's interesting is I actually thought that I was going to get the advantage on you guys because I didn't do the trading post. So I built something that was worth more than just one point. Yep. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's, I mean, that's the great thing about Tiny Towns. There's a lot of like fun little approaches and, you know, what, one resource different and that can give you a completely different uh, sort of outcome on, on, mm -hmm. on all the stuff. Yeah, and what what I what I especially find diff difficult about the game is that when you when I look back at like my play right now, right, it would be hard for me to say, okay, if I made a little tweak here or there, what would have happened? Like, it, mm -hmm. it's a hard game because the possibility space is so large that like thinking thinking back on your session, maybe you learn some stuff as you go, you learn some little tricks, but I, I it's not a game that's easy to just build like a path and just say i'm gonna do this because there's just it it like splits so quickly into such a possibility that at when i when i finish a game well, i'm gonna ask you guys this question but when i finish a game i learned some tricks by watching you guys but i don't have a good grasp on remembering all the moves i did while i was playing that i can think back and say this was a mistake or it wasn't a mistake like when you've played enough like you guys have do you have that sense where you can think back and be like oh man i never should have played these two buildings absolutely yeah yeah and definitely in in tiny towns i mean it was sort of one of my like design goals when i started out is i like games where bad things happen to players but i like it best when you can look at your board look at your game and say that that decision that was when i screwed myself over here right. um as far as this game and where i went wrong i'm not even sure i'm pretty happy with my board i mean all of us should be we're above 40 yeah. points um yeah. So I don't even know, because like looking at your boards, you both have two statues. Those are two zero point buildings, and I just have the one statue. Like your board is particularly impressive, James, because you have two trading posts and you have two statues. You know, like whereas Josh has the one statue and the, the two statues and the one trading post, I have the one statue and the two trading posts. But you have all four of those, but you still had the point efficiency between your three cathedrals, your two point monument helps. You only had two gambler's dens. I don't really know. I don't know what I would have tweaked. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I think I, I think that just the, the the play for the multiple cathedrals, that's what Josh and I were both doing, right? It was just trying to max out those cathedrals. Yep, it is high and, risk, high reward. Yeah, for and sure. I guess maybe it's not as efficient to go for jewelers. Yes, I, I don't know. Like if you had if you had saved the money from all those jewelers to turn it into a cathedral, but you you could only get one cathedral out of those dollars. Yeah, right? but I so, I only spent four bucks on yeah, those on right. four buildings for sixteen points, which is a pretty good trade off. Yeah um not as good as three for 21 but um yeah no that's cool no this is great um so i had a great time uh hopefully uh you guys enjoyed playing your game um josh this is the first time you've ever seen this did this sort of feel like you were playing tiny towns when you're yeah absolutely uh you know I, I think that this was actually a very clean way to play tiny towns um in fact it was very easy to watch and see what people were doing um and actually, like, this is a very good way to just 
be able to watch uh, boards a little bit better rather than having to mm -hmm. kind of like look around the table. Um, this, you know, this this works really well, and um, you know, as we point out, this game is really good at being able to um, be played across distances, and um, this this even further helps it and um, allows us to um, uh, you know get a lot of. Um, get a lot of good insight you know what people built it's very clear to be able to see at the end of the game what everyone did i i would i definitely think that this is a very interesting program for um prototyping and um, being able to play across distances um, yeah because then you could you know the nice thing is you could just like screenshot this screen right and say like oh here was a game that something weird happened mm -hmm. This is this yeah, was a, this yeah. was a good session. Let me let me take a screenshot. You can you can do that taking a camera of a, of a game, right? But it's probably a little bit easier to read in this format than than from photos. But um, but yeah, I think that could that could be a nice little assist to to keep track of different plays. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And just the fact that video chat is built in is so helpful. Um, yeah, because you guys so, you guys so live nice. in that world a lot, right? You're doing the Skype thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Um, okay, so for folks at home, this comes out on the 21st of February. If you have not checked out the Vorpal Board Kickstarter, uh, it's currently live. We have uh, eight days left. Um, we're like 250% funded, so we're hoping to, to have a really good good finish. Um, so check that out if you haven't yet. Um, and then, um, you know, uh, if you have not bought Tiny Towns, that is widely available. So uh, definitely pick up a copy of Tiny Towns. There are German copies behind Josh if you're uh listener um but um but i want to thank both of you guys uh for coming out i really appreciate um coming on and playing with me and um next week we'll be back with um i haven't announced like a streaming schedule for next week it's probably gonna be a little bit crazy because our kickstarter ends next week so we might be doing some weird uh let people join up with us uh live and stuff as the kickstarter comes to a close so um if you're interested in that just um check us out on twitter uh, and we'll have all the news there. And um, you guys, do you have anything you want to plug? Any other comments, last words? Um, just look for the Tiny Towns expansion right now. Um, I know yep. I have a game coming out later this year, Santa Monica, coming out in April. Check that out. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll see everybody later. You guys can stay on. Um, I'll just kill the stream, but um, good night and, uh, and see you next time.